guys welcome back to my channel now we are doing rev week so today we are going to be testing the ultimate nudes palette now i am going to only test one of them but i can give you close-ups of each this is what the outside packaging looks like and then when you open it up these are the colors you get five mattes and four shimmers in here which is incredible because we know we love a good shimmer to matte ratio which means the matte should be slightly higher I don't know why my voice went like that for a minute then. Then we've got the medium palette, which is getting a bit more up my street. You've got some nice darker tones in there. Again, you get your five mattes and your four shimmers, which I feel like they've really stepped up their game with their matte to shimmer ratios in these little palettes. However, we are going to be playing with the darks palette because I always get drawn to richer colours, it's just the type of person I am. I do love light colours like in my clothing and stuff. When it comes to my makeup I feel like I'm drawn to rich colours and the dark palette is just that. It is very very rich and very me. So we're going to swatch these. The mattes are swatching quite nicely. Oh the shimmer on the end was really smooth. Those are the first three shades. They've swatched really nicely. Ooh, this one is very creamy. And the end one. They're definitely different formulas than this burgundy shade. And those are the last three shades, well, the middle three shades. And then the last row is just literally all mattes, which I love. Wow, that last shade, I definitely have to play with that. It's got like a lavender undertone to the purple. And that is all the shades swatched. I do think they've swatched brilliantly. And I'm hoping that they work on the eyes just as well as they're swatching on my arm. As I really like the tone of that purple shade, I'm definitely just going to go straight in with that in the corner of my eye. There's no mirror in these, so it's going to be a little bit annoying. Um, just going to use this. It's going on um, not as pigmented as I would like. So you've got to build on a couple of layers, I reckon. Definitely have to build that up. That's like three layers of this eyeshadow. Can you see the difference? Three layers, one layer. Then I'm going to go in with this shade to blend out the edges. Mm. Now this shade had more kickback in. The other shade had a tiny bit of kickback. This one has a bit more, but not as much as these little palettes. And then on the inner part of my crease, I want to go in with this matte shade here. I'm literally just trying to use up all the matte shades in this palette. Again, barely any kickback, if any. Then to blend out those edges on all the colours, I want to go in with the middle shade. Then for my lid, I definitely want to go in with this shade here. This was such a soft shade that I'm hoping it picks up well on my brush. It didn't pick up that well on my brush, so I did wet my brush just to add, act as an adhesive. And now it's working so much more better. The shimmer is definitely so much more harder to work with. The mattes work beautifully, but the shimmers just are much harder to work with. I've got a lot of fallout, so you definitely want to do your eyes before your base. It's just, it's a lovely stunning shade, but it's just, it's taken a lot to build it up. So I'm gonna whack on Roxy Liner and then come back and we can do our base together maybe. I have gone and put some foundation, primer and powder on. The primer is my Barry M primer because I don't have a Revolution one that I particularly enjoy anymore. My foundation is L'Oreal and my powder is Revolution Pro CC powder, of course. Now for bronzer, we're going in the XX Intrinsic Bronzing or Face Palette and we're using this shade here.
This is definitely the type of bronzer you can go ham with. So for blush, we're gonna use the Rose Fizz Glow Palette that we hauled this week. I definitely feel like I can use that as a blusher and it's got a bit of a highlight to it too. For some reason, every highlight on my skin, uh, blush with highlighting looks gold. But I like that. And then obviously let's use the highlight in here. When I swatched it, I thought there was a bit of um, pink in there. There is like, I don't know if you can see it, but as I'm putting my brush in there, there's like pinkish tones coming up, but I can't see it in the actual highlight. I would reach for that again and again. It's definitely my kind of highlight. I want to use this burgundy lip line, lip liner, eyeliner um, on my waterline and then maybe smoke it out a little bit, maybe. The only matte I haven't used is this shade. So now that I've put the burgundy liner on, I'm going to go underneath with this shade here. And then let's take this shade here for your inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then I feel like we've used most of the shades except for this shimmer and this shimmer here. My lip combo is going to be the Dana lip liner with the Rosé um, Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon. I think her name's Dana, I swear it is. If it's not, I'm really sorry. This is the lips. I'm going to go off, do my eyebrows, mascara, eyelashes and then show you the final look. Well guys, this is the finished look. I actually put prime up lashes on because my Roxy's ones need a little bit of cleaning and I just can't bother to clean them today. So I will do that for the next video. But yeah, let's talk about this palette. Now, the mattes worked super well, not as well as the very cute palette that I did test um, not too long ago, but they did su blend super well. They blended out nicely. They're very pigmented. However, because I, ble I topped this one up like three times, the matte shade, it took a little bit longer than this shade, this side to blend out. But other than that, the pigmentation is nice. Like it's buildable. But if you want the pigmentation there straight away, this is not the palette for you. Like these palettes, you really have to build them to get the pigmentation that I've got from them. Um, the shimmers. Mm. That shimmer was a really hard shimmer to work with. I don't know if you can tell, but I've dug my brush in there so much that it just didn't work. And it's weird because the shimmer formula for these two shimmers here is so much different than the shimmer formula for this one up here. So I don't know what happened. The shimmer formula just didn't work too well. But um, it is a nice palette, don't get me wrong. I love the fact that there's more mattes than shimmers in there. I'd have to play around with the other shimmer formula to see if that works well. But for now, that shimmer didn't really work well. I did want to point out that this burgundy shade really worked nicely on my waterline. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be, but it, it is nice. I reckon my Barry M's are definitely much more pigmented than this. Um, but overall, I did like the finish look. Like, I do really like this palette and I'm actually gonna reach for it a lot because the blush is super nice and the highlight is definitely a highlight I will go for. I don't know why it's so gold. Like I did not expect it to be that gold. I thought there would be more of a pink undertone to it. Like it, when you put your brush in there, there's some pink, pinkiness that has appeared. But um, overall, very impressed. Pressed. <laughs> um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please smash it huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.